Hi, I'm Sandra, and I'm a professional belly dancer. The Arabic word for belly dance is raksharki, and uh, that literally translates to Eastern dance. So the Arabic culture thinks that the dance came from the east of the Arabic culture. And um, to the east of the Arabs are the Persians, and the Persians call it Arabic dance. Mm -hmm. So the Arabs say that it came from the east, and the Persians say that it came from the west, and no one quite says that it's their own. It is thousands of years old, and the stories go that it was anything from the amalgamation of the knowledge of the women who were collected in harems, mm. um, and everything that they knew about surviving childbirth and preparing women for childbirth. And it is heavily influenced by West African dance and West African fertility rites. And so it is believable that the women that were collected in the harems from, from West African and Sub-Saharan African would have brought that knowledge with them. With the discovery of King Tut's tomb for men in until, um, with, the, with the discovery of King Tut's tomb in 1920, three, possibly, mm. four, um, they needed an entertainment for the Westerners who were coming to visit Egypt in droves to see the treasures. Mm. And they dragged these dancers out of their homes and, and put them on stage to perform. And it was a very... <laughs> Even today, for Arabic audiences, it is the women that pay the most attention. And it is... It is a very sensuous art form, but it's also incredibly subtle, and the difference between a bad belly dancer and a great belly dancer is in the subtlety, and most of that is lost on the male audience, and it's the women who, who appreciate the levels of expertise that, that Middle Eastern dance strives for, because it's, it's such a, a finely coordinated and timed and extremely subtle and understated art form. And I think if you were really making an effort to appeal to the men, it would be much more obvious. And it's it's not. It's a it's a long and winding rabbit hole of an art form with 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 extremely slow process, progress and and the display of it at its highest form is something that that I think mostly only women can truly appreciate. Hey, do Have you been teaching all day? 
Uh, all day? No, only for an hour. I sleep until, oh, today's Friday. I thought it was Saturday. I didn't teach. I start a private lesson this morning at 11 o'clock, and then I try to make it to the late yoga class that starts at 12.45, just to stretch out and warm up. Then I go see my therapist, and then I go to the gym, and then I start getting dressed. And right now I'm on my way to a party for Punjabis, and they want specific Punjabi music and I'm not quite sure what that sounds like. Uh, I, went to, I went to Thea on Santana Row, and there was a table of belly dancers there, a famous dancer from Minnesota who was in town, who I had met before, scrutinizing me, so I had to work extra hard. And then I run over here, and I'm supposed to be in Union City in 15 minutes. Okay, I'll let you go. Yeah. 